Hi guys, this is um, a little video about artificial stream, artificial streaming report and how the distributors is making their decisions on the artists and if it is right or if it is not right. So here I have my own distributor. I started in 2022 December and I uploaded one song to test and to check how it looks like. And here I got in December around 10,000 streams if you add it all up. You can do that if you want, if you don't believe me. So I already counted it all together. It's close to 10,000. And then I got the artificial streams report that you get monthly from Spotify. You get it like two months later. So in end of January, I got the report from December and it looks like this. So we have um, 10,000 streams all in all from that one song and we have 452 um, artificial streams. So Spotify will detect, deduct that 452 streams from the 10,000 streams, means only 9,500 something is paid out. And um, as we can see here, the artificial streams is coming anyway for just three accounts. So it doesn't even make a difference for the money. So if I would see that as a distributor, let's say this is another artist and there's like 4%, 4.5% um, of the whole streams is artificial and also just free tier, that would be for me no problem. I wouldn't even uh, tell that artist. It's, it could be like from, from somebody using the wrong VPN, listening to the music. It could be from a jealous person that using a flagged account going against that artist. So it's so easy to make like 4.5%, especially when the numbers is not so high, 10,000 streams. So now we have the situation with Ditto Music. Ditto Music, um, I uploaded their music before. I have around 30,000 streams in December with one artist. And that uh, music got, or their account from Ditto got suspended. Why? Because they say from the uh, Spotify reported that, that it was artificial stream. So now I know how the Spotify artificial stream report looks like. So I was asking them, ah, okay, how many, um, how high was the artificial streams that Spotify deducted? And then they came up with the number that shot it because they said 340 streams. So 340 streams was deducted by Spotify for artificial streams out of 30,000. So this is only 1%. So what is Ditto Music doing? They are suspending accounts just for 1% of artificial streams. This is horrible. They they obviously not looking deeper inside. They, they get a report, they see the, the artist, and then they suspend the accounts. This is horrible because let's say there's an um, artist doing good numbers. One person is jealous of that person and of that artist just making an account with some and then flagged account streaming 1% um, of his music and he gets suspended, right? That doesn't make sense at all. So, um, is it right? Is it not right? I don't know. You tell me. I don't feel like it is right. Not at all. Now, the next point, um, when you ask them about the money of the coming months, right? So, they, they suspend the account because in December, the the um, artificial streaming report showing some numbers for Ditto Music 340. So 1% um, artificial streams, then they suspend the account. What is happening to, right now I have to say we have February, what is happening to, um, sorry, it was in November. November, they, they had the artificial stream report of November. Ditto Music is a little late, so it was November with the 30,000 streams and the 1% of artificial streams. So now I'm asking what is happening to December and January? It's still two months that um, is a, that money will come from Spotify, right? Because Spotify is still paying. They just detect the 1% of the numbers, which is no problem. Let's say instead of $1,000, uh, you make $990. That is still totally okay. So, um, when I asked them on my email um, what is happening to that money, they told me it will be held back. Okay, first of all, it will be held back. Uh, very interesting. Um, 
where will it be held back, how long will it be held back, and how can the artists that got suspended because of 1% artificial streams get their money that is still coming in. So these questions, I will ask them now with email. I already prepared here my little um, my little email, so I read it out. A Hi, D2 support team. I understand that the artificial stream report that you got from Spotify is from November and two more reports will follow on December as well as January. I had the chance to see artificial reports from Spotify by myself and I know there's two factors. The name of the artist that is registered on the distributor and the number of the streams that got deducted from Spotify and considered to be artificial streams. It could be one artist who has one artificial stream. She would be appearing that artificial stream report. So this two informations need to be interpreted in the right way. You can't put an artist that has 100,000 streams in one month and 99,000 artificial streams in the same category as an artist having 1,000 streams, but only 10 artificial streams. The streams of the first artist is 99% artificial streams. The streams of the second artist is only 1% artificial streams. So there's a big difference. Anyway, I just read it out. I am confident to say that the reports of my music will be the same for the two coming months. You will not find any artificial streams on these reports besides of the deducted 1% that we've been talking about. These 340 streams that caused the suspension of my digital account could come from so many ways. For example, someone that is jealous using a flagged account streaming my music 12 streams per day that would add up to 340 streams per month and already cause a suspension of the digital account. It cannot be that just one person is possible to make my whole account be suspended, right? The 340 artificial streams is 1% compared to my whole streams, which was around 30,000 streams and probably just one listener out of my 3,000 listeners. It is way too easy to make someone's account be suspended by artificial streaming this music 1% of our numbers. It is not enough to take 1% artificial streams as an argument for fraudulent activity. I understand you are holding back money for further poss possible payback requests from Spotify. Yeah, as, as you can um, read between the lines, I already um, texted with them two or three emails and um, they are saying like we are holding back the money for for possible payback requests from Spotify. So we, we need to understand that that's a um, good argument and you can't go against that argument. But then there's coming the next questions. What is usually happening with the money coming in the next months after sp suspension of an account? Right, the money that's still coming in from Spotify for the numbers that the artist made. How long will that money be held back? And how do the account holders have access to the money after the investigation time is over, after the account is suspended? So that would be very interesting because when normally when you have the account, the way of getting the money from the tour is through your account, right? But now that they suspended the account, how can you get that money, right? So. I, I'm not saying they're robbing the artists, but you know we have to be very careful what they are doing there because it is it would be so easy for them to just take the money and um, have a stupid reason like hey we are holding that money back for possible payback, but there will be never a payback, and then after the investigation time is over, they're telling like oh we can't find the artists anymore, uh, how can we pay out, and then what's happening to that money? You know, I'm just asking questions here. Okay. That's what I want to point out. I will send that to Ditto Music and hopefully I get an answer.